Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you my Power Automate uh, flows that I created. Um, there to basically create Pip 360 projects. Um, you know, part of my process is to go ahead and create a project, um, initiate, you know, access the design collaboration and the document management, make sure those are active, and then, um, you know, add people to those projects. Um, so kind of created these Power Automate flows to kind of do that for me. So I kind of made them in two separate flows. Um, the first one is the open login. So it kind of goes through and opens up Chrome, um, goes to the web page, signs in. If you know, you know, if it sees the email next page, then it'll go ahead and click on that. And my information is already saved in Chrome, so it's going to hit next. And we have duo login. So if you have that um, enabled, it'll it's going to see if that screen pops up. If it says duo on there, then I'll go ahead and put it in my password, login, and then it's going to click on the BIM360 account admin button. And it'll take me to the account admin page to create the project. Um, that's kind of the first flow. And I made it separate from my other one. Uh, I'm just calling this uh, flow in my, my BIM360 creation flow. So uh, when I run this one, this is the one I'm going to actually run. It's going to run this flow first. And then it's going to ask me, you know, which project, uh, you know, what's the name of the project, which template do I want to use? And, um, you know, what type is it? Is it an office? Is it uh, recreational? Is it a parking structure? Whatever it is. Um, then I'll go ahead and launch Chrome again. Uh, it'll probably look for the browser. And then um, it's going to add all the project and then um, it'll activate everything I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that and then um, I'm going to watch it go as I hit the run button. So I'm going to move this over to my other screen. I'm going to hit run and then you'll kind of see it running on this window. So I'm going to run the desktop flow. So again, it's going to open up M360, I'm not doing anything, and it's going to um, see if it, again, duo login doesn't work. Um, no duo login required, so once of that, I'm going to put in the project name, so I'm just going to call it uh, Revit Training 2023, just as an example project, it okay. Um, it's going to ask me what type of project is it. I'm just going to go with, you know, office. Just hit OK. And again, it's going to do it for me. It's going to put in that uh, training project. It's going to put in the office. Uh, and then it's going to hit save and continue. It's going to go ahead and wait a couple seconds. And it's going to uh, click on the activate design collaboration. Put in the project template that I specified. It's going to activate. And then um, there you go. So I went ahead and activated it and did all that for me. So once this is created, um, I have another flow that will allow me to add project members to it. So um, if there's standard project members you have, or if there's project specific members, um, you can watch that video on adding them, you know, kind of the same process, but there you go. Um, this, this is kind of the one thing I'm using for BIM 360 because they don't have, you know, standard users to um, to add to the product templates like ACC does. Um, so it's been nice to do it this way. I would definitely, if you're using ACC, Construction Cloud, um, you can all do this automatically of adding members. Um, but yeah, again, useful tip for using Power Automate and creating BIM 360 projects. Thanks for watching.